Hello and welcome back to another video in this Python for Beginners series. In this video, we're going to talk about string concatenation. String concatenation is the operation of joining two or more strings together. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. In most of your programs, you will have strings, and we've talked before about how to create strings. The thing is, once you have these strings in your code, most of the time you will need to perform some operations on these strings. And one of the most popular operations you can do on strings is to concatenate strings together, which means to join two or more strings to form another string that is a combination of these different strings. Let's take an example. Let's say we have a string variable, let's call it str1, and then this string variable has the value of hello. And then we also have another string, str2, and let's say str2 is equal to world. So now we have two strings, str1, which has the value of hello, and then str2, which has the value of world. Now let's say we want to concatenate these strings together. We want to form one string that is hello world. So to achieve this, we use the plus operator, the plus operator. So we basically say str1 and then plus and then str2. So if we do this, if we press enter, we get hello world as one string. We concatenated hello with world. Okay, what if we want to have a space between hello and world? Very easy. So in addition to being able to concatenate string variables, you can also concatenate string literals. So if I want to do this, I can just say str1 plus and then space and then plus str2. So this will return hello and then space and then world. Let's say we want to add an exclamation mark at the end of the string. So we can do this by saying str1, and then plus space, plus str2, and then the exclamation mark. So as you can see, you can use the plus operator to concatenate two or more strings together. And these strings could either be string variables, and they can also be string literals, that are enclosed between double quotes or single quotes. Now, there's one thing that is super important that I want you to understand here. When we do something like this, str1 plus str2, and we get hello world, this does not change str1, and it does not change str2. It creates a new string that is the concatenation of str1 and str2. But str1 has not changed, str2 has not changed either. And we can actually check this. Let's say str1, it returns hello, str2, it returns world. So in this code, we don't really have any variables that store the concatenated value of str1 and str2. To do this, we can just say message is equal to str1, and then let's put a space here and then plus str2. Now, if we want to check message, we get that message is equal to hello space world. So message in this case is the variable that is storing the concatenated value between str1 and str2. But str1 and str2 have not changed. Now, let's do a simple exercise just to practice string concatenation in addition to string indexing and slicing. If you don't know what string indexing and slicing is, then I already discussed that in another video. So make sure you revise this other video before you do this exercise. Okay, so what is this exercise? It's a simple exercise, a simple program where you have someone's first name and last name. And the program is supposed to generate a username for that person. So given a first name and a last name, we are supposed to generate, o to generate a username. And here's what we need to do. The username is going to be the first character of the first name, and then the first five characters of the last name. 
So for example, if we take my name, my first name is Kareem, last name is El Gamrawi. So my username will be like this. So K is the first character of Kareem. E-L-G-H-A is the first five characters of my last name. All right, so let's start by creating two variables that will hold the first name and the last name. So let's say the first name is Julia and the last name is Roberts. Now let's store the username in another variable. So let's call it username. And like I said, the username is going to be the first character of the first name. We know how to get the first character of a string because this is what string indexing is. So all you need to do here is say first name and then between two square brackets you put the index of the first character and as we know the index of the first character is zero. Awesome. And then what we need to do is we want to concatenate this character with the first five characters of the last name. So we need the plus operator to do concatenation. And now we say last name. And then here we want to slice last name so that we can get the first five characters. And to do this, you do something like this. So this will return the first five characters of the last name. So we have the first character of the first name, the first five characters of the last name, and that is the username. And now let's print username so that we make sure that our program is correct. So let's see, let's run our program and we get the username which seems correct. Let's change the names here, let's say this is Mark and this is Zuckerberg. And let's run our program again and then we get the username of Mark Zuckerberg. So as you can see, in this simple program, we combined multiple operations, multiple string operations that we learned about. We used uh, string indexing, string slicing, and string concatenation to be able to create a new string, the username, and print it out on the screen. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next video.